What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. I just saw the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has some money coming in. I feel like somebody is jealous of this money coming in, this abundance coming in. You might not even know that it's coming in, but it is. It's written, it's written in your destiny. It's written in the cards. I'm also hearing... Um, something about... Like, I'm seeing somebody... This message might even resonate with me. But it's like... Don't get too busy. I'm just hearing that. Like, don't get too busy. Don't use work as a as an as a, a way to escape okay all right um six of cups in the upright position i feel like somebody is shifting timelines into a higher frequency this has been um a long time coming okay but there has been a lot of interference with the ace of wands in the reverse position that interference that karmic interference is going to run into some bad luck you are a boss. You are um, somebody who embodies all of the queen or king or all of the yeah all of the queen or queen king's energy. Okay, so we have the empress card here. It's not gender specific. It is um, you know it could be emperor, empress, whatever. But basically, you are somebody who is accountable for many souls. I feel like somebody is integrating some messages as well, receiving some downloads, a DNA upgrade. I'm receiving. Somebody needs to rest. We have strength in the reverse position. That's the message that I'm receiving. It's going to help somebody get out of their head with the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Queen of Swords in the reverse position. The message I'm receiving is that um, it, um, in order to uh, channel, um, in order to make sure that your channels are clear and concise, okay? Um, for all of my channels out there, Lapis Lazuli is fantastic for um, channeling temperance in the reverse position. Also, somebody, um, you don't want to absorb too much energy. It can make you sick. It can make you physically sick, and it can lower frequency. And the message that I'm receiving is that there is somebody who does not know how to take breaks, and, um, and the energy builds up and it actually makes them sick. So make sure that you avoid that, all right? The high priestess, yeah, this is you. You are the high priestess, okay? You, male or female, you are, you are somebody um, who's highly intuitive and um, you have um, great purpose. And um, your, your energy and your messages help people, whether you know it or not, too. I feel like some, some people might not actually know it. Um, Seven of Swords in the reverse position. I feel like you're shifting frequency, so it's really, um, you're shifting out of a frequency for future lifetimes and future lifetimes in this lifetime um, so that there isn't any more chaotic energy. Okay, somebody has healed a generational curse and you are shifting out of that frequency and stabilizing into a new frequency, okay? I feel like somebody might know this as well, that this is happening. And it's like somebody is so excited about this that um, they're just like, yeah, let's go, let's do this, new earth, woohoo, you know what I mean? So like, but somebody is still in the nine of wands energy, so they do need to rest to make sure that um, you don't, um, that you just don't end up in this, this, this old frequency again with the ten of swords in the reverse position, okay? No more betrayals, but um, you have to take care of your body, okay? Yeah, the sun, you had an awakening. You're coming out of some sort of a fog, some sort of a karmic fog. I feel like that has been keeping you in a lower frequency, and that has been coming in the way of this uh, this timeline shift. Okay, um, that this this has been a long time coming, but this this karmic energy, this past energy, has been getting in the way. Death in the reverse position. This is over. All right. Mm -hmm. I feel like relationships in the future are going to start working um, in your favor more, okay? It's, it's not going to be as difficult. You're aligning with a new tribe. 
is what I'm hearing, okay? Let go of the old and turn to the new. Five of Swords with the Two of Cups in the reverse position and the Death card in the reverse position. I just feel like there was a lot of um, chaotic energy and not, um, I'm hearing that people did not have the right intentions, but, um, and that's why there was a lot of, um, I'm hearing pushback. That's not what I was trying to say, but I, uh, there was a lot of pushback. So it was like much more difficult to be able to get things off the floor so to speak, and this new frequency is going to align you with new friends, I'm hearing new tribe that is um, going to be um, more, how do you say it, um, they're just going to be at a frequency that is, I'm hearing like victim mentality, I'm hearing not taking accountability, I'm hearing a lot of this past tribe that somebody was a part of was um, just uh, there was a lot of ego. They were they were working from um, like a 3D egoic mind. Okay, so but you are going to be you're going to be making some boss moves coming up. Okay, like there you're going to be surrounded by people with a can-do attitude like you is what I'm hearing. There may have been some sort of a split with regards to your love relationship. We've got the lovers in the reverse position. Um, somebody might need to also get rid of somebody. Take what resonates. But I feel like this chaotic situation also created chaos with the love situation. Um, so we can, um, we can pull some more cards on that as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody just needs to ghost the situation. Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. Um, and somebody might just need to ghost a, a lover or a, a, a karmic lover. I feel like you know who this is, okay? Um, and I want to explain something to you guys. With regards to Twin Flames, Twin Flames can embody karmic energy too, okay? And releasing your Twin Flame embodying the karmic energy puts the two on a new trajectory, okay? It closes out the karmic cycle of that twin flame dynamic, okay? And then afterwards you can take some time and the twin flames just then become twin flames, okay? This can happen also with um, karmics um, like even if it's a soulmate, okay? So like soulmates, karmics are just soulmates, okay? So if two karmics are, um, you know, mindful, cognizant, and self-aware, and also know a little bit about energy and, and these types of concepts, these esoteric concepts, um, you can separate from um, a karmic uh, with love, in love, and um, with love in your heart for them, and you know, in time, once the um, once whatever needs to be healed is healed and released, released, um, the two can come back as soulmates. Okay, so I just want you guys to know that and understand that because I feel like a lot of people. I'm hearing that there are a lot of people who are not letting go of very toxic situations because they're twin flames, okay? But the thing is, is that twin flames, like I said, twin flames can embody karmic energy, okay? And that is, that is part of the journey. It is turning that twin flame, because of a past life or something like that, this, this may have happened, okay? But it, it's, um, or even in this life, okay? But um, it's turning, you have to turn that twin flame, or you have to turn that twin flame that is a karmic, you have to remove that karmic energy, and the only way that you can do that really is by, is by learning the lesson and separating, okay? So there, it's, it's complicated. It's not easy to do, but um, either way, somebody needs to ghost a situation, okay? Nine of Cups. I feel like you are manifesting at a rapid, rapid rate. I also feel like somebody is jealous because now I have the Knight, I have the knight of Pentacles. Oh... Somebody was impatient. They wanted. There are two lovers who are, who 
who need more self-control. I have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the Nine of Cups is like these two people are wishing. There's a high desire for two, two, two uh, counterparts, um, a Divine Masculine and a Divine Feminine, and both of them have no self-control, and that is the karmic lesson that they need to learn, and then they need to separate, okay? And then that is going to take away that karmic energy from that twin flame dynamic, and that is going to um, then, after some space and time, they're going to become like... Uh, normal twin flames, okay, that karmic energy will leave. The thing is about, so they need to surrender, okay, um, sorry, I just got distracted. I feel like there are a lot of distractions that are going on, making it difficult for somebody to be able to do this, but this is the message, this is what needs to happen, okay, and then you will have a victory, all right, six of wands, okay, I think I'm going to leave the reading right here, I hope that you guys are all having a very beautiful day, um, Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment so that I can tap into your energy more easily. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, please feel free to contact me, 616-485-3479. Just um, leave your, your name and say, hi, my name is so-and-so, and I would like a personal reading, okay? And that's it. So, all right, I'm sending you guys lots of love. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>